just cast on the sweat. <laughs> it's funny, I oh, oh my god, the fish, big hit, big hit. Oh my god. Oh, I saw that too. I got him. What's going on, guys? I'm Hyper Orange here, and I forgot to film an intro for this video, but this video is uh, gonna be a mashup of a couple different days of doing some shore fishing. Um, you know, the one day net a couple fish, the other day we got that 41, um, and just the other night, I just fished for an hour and I caught my PB walleye, but it was on the last cast, I knew my GoPro was gonna die, I'm like, ah, whatever. And uh, then I got into a PB walleye on a musky bait, so that was that was freaking awesome. I'll show the picture, but uh, we're gonna get out there again. It's a beautiful day. Weather has been up and down as far as uh, colder temperatures and a uh, warm front coming in, but hopefully, you know, these fish are still biting, uh, and we get into some good musky. Just after sunrise, and we're gonna do some musky fishing. Not even here for five minutes. Jared, who got second at the musky brawl, already got into a fish. <laughs> nice one. Alrighty. Oh, that was a good one. Alright, it was a really, really light hit. When I set the hook into it, there, I, I didn't set it into much. I don't know what this is. Walleye? It might be a musky, even a small one. Now it's fighting a little better. Maybe it was just swimming right at me the whole time. Oh yeah. Oh, a little snake. Yeah, it's a little guy. Oh. I got it. No, he's in. <laughs> Thank you. Man, you're really the musky whisperer. <laughs> oh, Yo, I meant to ask you, did you have, uh, or was it Derek? Do you have a Warhammer? I do. Fuck. I was looking at them last night. Uh, they're expensive. 75 bucks on Ang League Sports for the 11 inch. If you buy them from him, it's 55. Oh, okay. That's still, yeah. man, so they're trading 20 bucks over, too. Honestly, they did really well on the French River. So they look sleek, man. Well, yeah, so they don't, they don't really have, they have very little, like, very little vibration. Um, they have a very small tail, and it's kind of like, like Toddy Tickles makes the bait. Yeah. The bait literally, like, tickles in the water. Like, it's like, it's, a, it's more of a finesse swim bait. So more like you bump into them, that more that they track down the action? Well, and, it, see, I think it's better in clearer water where the fish can see it. I know. Because it doesn't, uh. in this stained water, it's better to have something that, like, moves more water, creates, uh, vibration, right? So... Jared, I'm getting a fish on this lure, just so you know. Pardon? I'm getting a fish on this lure. Yeah? It's happening. What is it? Poseidon 10-inch natural perch. Oh, yeah. Wrong side of the sign. This side right here. Yeah, you gotta make sure when you set the hook, you don't run into it. <laughs> All you're gonna hear is a plang. Getting hit with a frying pan. <laughs> I wanna play a game of whack fuck. Whack! <laughs> Playing a game of whack fuck here. Whack. Fuck. <laughs> I just want to make sure it works for you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it does. I don't think so either. It's funny, I d oh, oh my god, a fish! Big hit, big hit! Holy fuck, he's taking my drag! No, fish, 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 fish. Oh, it is a snack. Fuck me, that's why I felt so big. Okay, you got him. First snagged fish ever. Fish is fish. You got him. <laughs> Holy fuck, that felt so heavy, that's why. All right, let's bring it to a, uh, we're good. Let's bring it to the net. Forty-one and a half. Yeah. Hi there. Can you take one close up the mouth, Jared? All right. And quick release. All right, we've made it out on Lake St. Clair. And uh, may not look like much on camera, but there's definitely some chop coming in. The little red tin can is getting thrown around a little, but the Tarova is saving the day with spot lock. Now, overcast, you know, water temps are cold. November, it should produce a that musky. I don't care about numbers right now. I'm going for one big fish. So let's find it. Yes, first cast on the switch. <laughs> yes, first time I've ever thrown this black and right on. Absolutely hammered it. Oh, come on, haven't seen it yet. Oh, he's barely hooked. Let's go on. Yes! Fuck yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Probably like a 42, I'm hoping. <laughs> nice. First absolute change. I threw a million lures. And I'm like, I should just pick one. Well, you know what? Just goes to show they sometimes want different stuff. Get a quick bump. 43. All right, nice.
There she goes. Always a good release. That's what we live for. <laughs> the little red tin can gets her done again. I, uh, every time I've been out on the boat, I've got a fish and, uh, you know, I, I can't even talk, you know, it wasn't the longest fish, it was only 43, but man, the fish, because of fall fatties, they have big stomachs. When I hooked it, man, when it was over here, I didn't want to scare him with, like, netting it myself, because last time, I almost missed uh, that PB pike in the musky brawl, uh, even though he was hooked good, that's always my fear, if I, I've never missed a fish, knock on wood, thank God, but you know, uh, actually, anywho, uh, that being said, when he came in, he kept pulling drag and coming in, so I'm like, I'm just gonna wait, and it was like getting to me, I was like probably heavy breathing, but you know, <laughs> this little red tin can gets me out here on the mighty Lake St. Clair, and we're out here, and uh, I'm just happy to get a fish. Tomorrow I'm going deer hunting, so I hope to get my first buck. It's eluded me for a couple seasons, but you know, the biggest thing is just getting out here, and I'm super happy. So I'm gonna stitch together a little bit of a video on this boat, and then I'm gonna start the compilation. This is some shore fishing that I just did here and there. Uh, caught the one fish. Um, and I just can't get enough of musky fishing. And you know what's funny? I was throwing all the lures in my lake wood. And then some I was only throwing for like five minutes. I'm like, nah, I'm not feeling it or whatever. Then I'm like, I should just pick one. And then I'm like, you know what? I was throwing relatively like colors and all the same. I'm like, what should I change? And I tried something else and that black rider did the trick. First cast, nailed it. So I'm pretty happy. I always appreciate you guys watching and uh, let's get to more musky fishing. First cast back, I did back to back, first time of my life. A smaller fish. No! <laughs> this is crazy, back to back, first cast. Thank God it was a small fish. Oh, there's a window. It is fucking on. Both lures first cast. <laughs> I've never been so like psyched to lose a fish. I, I saw it was small because then I would be cursing. <laughs> Man, I would be more mad, but it was a small fish, but back to back right away, like. <laughs> bye, bye. Guys, I'm, I'm shaking right now. That was the, the first proper muskie I had on the line and come off well actually that's a that's a lie i missed another one but this one was clear as day hook set um that i saw the fish the whole time but thank god it was a small fish it had to have been under 35 but back to back casts i've never done that in my life i caught the 43 and as i was hooking up those guys behind me caught a 43 hooked into this one like there is when a window comes in in lake st Clair, fish just it's just an absolutely feeding frenzy. So I'm gonna enjoy this window and hopefully get into another fish. My goal, I really want a tiger over 45 inch with a fat stomach. And then of course there's always that goal for a 50. Even though I do have my PB is a 51, there's always room for improvement and you know, 
we got to get the tallies up. I want to see how many 50s I can get. But man, musky fishing, my legs feel like they're going to give out. Like I'm just, it just gets me shaken. Gets me so excited. Musky are my favorite fish. Like I love bass. And when you catch your new PB and it jumps out of the water, it's crazy. But nothing is like a musky. And that 43, 43 isn't even considered like that big of a fish to be honest i don't even consider it but because it's fall the big stomachs on them make them fight so much harder and it's just they hammer it and i i just can't get enough of them and i am just so impressed with my little tin can you know it gets me out here look there's one other boat trolling over there there's those guys by the mouth and i'm out here i'm out here on lake st Clair. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm super excited to get, like, an 18-foot wide boat so, you know, I can take, like, one or two buddies out comfortably and I can fight bigger chop. But until then, at least this gets me out here and, uh, you know, I'm out here catching muskie, so I can't complain. And this, this little red boat is so special to me. The fact that I built it, got it for, like, nothing. First boat with spot lock, it's, I, I just love it. Love muskie fishing, love it all. And I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I love sharing it. To be honest, the nicest people I've ever met are people in the fishing world and specifically the muskie community. Like there's so many nice guys and uh, good people. But we're gonna keep grinding. Oh, holy fuck, come on, come back. Come back. I'm gonna do a big figure eight. Dude, this is crazy. Come on. Come on. Guys, I was retrieving super fast and I'm in 20 foot of water. So like when you feel something, you know it's not a stag. I'm not letting these sink. Oh my God. Line just went full slack. People nipping at this. Back to back fish. I think I deserve a little reward. What do we have in here? Let's just see. Oh, something that uses a spoon. Nice hot chili to go on a day of musky fishing on Lake St. Clair. Also, if you don't put beans in your chili, you're weak. Oh yeah, nice and hot.